Hey guys, today we are going to explore the WP Maintenance Mode plugin. So let's begin. I'll hover over Plugins on the left and click on Add New. And from there, I'll just go ahead and search for WP Maintenance Mode. And I'll install and activate the first result. Let's hover over Settings at the bottom and click WP Maintenance Mode. And here we can import a free template. We have templates for both Maintenance Mode and Coming Soon. For this example, let's use the Maintenance Mode option. And if you want to receive updates for this product, you can click sign up, but I'll skip this for now and I'll click go to settings. So on the settings page under general, the first option we have is status and it's set to activate it by default. So we can just keep this on. If you want to allow search bots to bypass maintenance mode, you can change this option to yes, but I'll keep it as no. And then you can choose which user roles you would like to access the back end of the website. You can select multiple roles. Since admins always have access, you won't see this role on the list. Next, we have front end role, which works just like back end role. It has the same options and admins always have access. Next, we have the robots meta tag option. This controls how pages should be indexed and served in search results. We have no index, no follow and index follow. We'll keep the default settings. The next option lets us configure a redirection URL for users with no access to the back end. Next, we have Exclude, where we can add a list of feeds, pages, archives, or IPs that we want to exclude from maintenance mode. You'll need to add each one on a separate line. And below this, we can choose whether we want to see notices when maintenance mode is active. I'll keep this on and save our settings. So once our settings are saved, we can move on to the Design tab. And the first thing we can do here is select our maintenance mode page. So if we access this drop-down menu, we'll be able to select and use any page on this website as our maintenance mode page. We also have a section where we can pick a template. We can use this drop down menu to filter the different types. And if we scroll down, we can see all of the available templates. At the time of recording, we only have six, but there will be more in the future. If you wanna use one of these templates, all you'd need to do is hover over it and click on the import button. Now I'll click on the edit page link to edit the template that I previously imported. So this page opens up in the WordPress editor and it was made with Otter, an amazing block library that you should definitely check out. I'll leave a link to Otter Blocks in the description. So you can go ahead and make changes to your page. You can make changes to the image as well as the text. So I'll change the color of this heading to green as an example. So basically you can customize every aspect of this page. If you want to add new blocks, you can click on this plus icon at the top and then you can search for your desired block. So as an example, I'll add a countdown timer to our form. I'll click to insert it. And now if I scroll down, we'll see the countdown timer. So now I'll just go ahead and remove this and I'll click on update. Let's go back to our settings. And now we can focus on the modules tab. So under subscribe, we have status. And this is where we'll see the number of people that subscribe to our campaigns on our maintenance mode or coming soon pages. Then we have Google Analytics that we can turn on or off. I'll keep it off. The next option is IP anonymization. And this is also known as IP masking. And you have the option to select yes or no to turn it on or off. And finally, you can add your Google Analytics tracking code in this field. If you made any changes on this page, you can click on save settings. Now we can move on to the manage bot tab. So WP maintenance mode has a bot that could interact with users for the purpose of collecting email addresses or providing information. And I'm going to turn it on by clicking on activated. You can also give your bot a name. So let's call it Sarah. And I'll also upload an avatar. Let's use an image from the media gallery. We can use this one. I'll click on choose picture. Okay, that's done. And here we can customize the messages and responses that are sent by the bot. So you can go through these messages and customize them according to your needs. Once you're done, click on the save settings button. So now we can view the results of our work. Let's open up the site in a new incognito window. So now we can see our maintenance mode page, which we imported from the template. And I'll click on the avatar at the bottom to open the bot and it will instantly start a conversation. So it's asking for a name. I'll type in Thomas and click send. Tell me more. And now it's asking for my email address. So this is a perfect way to collect email addresses without being too intrusive. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.